Hey, good morning everybody. Clint here with CCUA. Back here with another veg out video. Today we've got a virtual farm tour we're gonna do. Beginning to feel a lot like summer here on the urban farm. Nice and toasty this morning. Uh, everything is kind of growing wild right now. Let's kind of walk around and see what things look like. We had a... Uh, I wasn't here Friday, so the last time I was here was on Thursday, and it seems that just in those three days, everything's really, really shot off. So we got some new flowers here, some cosmos there. Still got lots of peppers here. No flowers on them yet that I can see, but we'll get there here pretty soon. So lots of lilies out. Our echinacea here is looking absolutely gorgeous. It's always loved these nice bright yellow flowers. Remind me a lot of sunflowers. I, did I call that echinacea? That's uh, Ella Campaign, not echinacea. Our tomatoes are getting pretty big here. They're there at about hip height. So we're starting to get quite a few flowers on them. Sweet potatoes are starting to vine out. Ooh, and here we got some lovely flowers coming up. It's a nice color. Then another flower I really enjoy. I'm not sure what it's called. Just a beautiful kind of dark indigo colored flower uh, with white pollen too, which I think is super interesting. Our carrots are looking really full. We've got our okra here, just starting to look more and more like okra every day. And then here you can see our, kind of our perennial area down here of native plants is looking really colorful. Our wild bergamot is blooming, which I look forward to every year. It's just got such a lovely smell and a lovely taste too. Kind of a little peppery. So we've got our cattle panel up here. Not totally sure what we've got growing right here. Hey Sam, do you know what we've got growing on these panels? Ah, beans. There we go. All beans. All beans. Well, here's our wild bergamot. Super floral. It's also called bee balm. It might be another common name for it. Uh, super nice smell. And super tasty, too. So these little purple petals here. Uh, I think make a lovely tea. They have sort of a, a peppery kind of taste to them. Uh, not the same bergamot that is used to make old gray tea though. I think that's from some sort of citrus plant. Uh, we've got this lovely cone flower here. Just a nice white cone flower. Also got of course our oranges and purples and reds and grays and yellows and all kinds of them. Our strawberries here are, well, they're definitely done for the season. Uh, and they've been done for several weeks now. So we will probably, either this week or next, be thinning those out. Just to give them some more space. Bees are buzzing like always. Very active today. Got our blackberries here. Starting to get a few ripe ones, but most of them are still in that nice red stage where we're waiting. Still getting raspberries, plums, mulberries, 
all that fun stuff. Our squash here is looking really good. We've got some yellow squash there is what we're what we're gonna be having. Oh, and here's super productive area of our blackberries. And you can see just from this one section we're gonna be getting gallons and gallons and gallons of the things. So many. I'm super excited for that. <clears throat> All right, looks like we're doing some uh, mowing and weed eating down by our chickens today, so we're not gonna go down there right now. So we'll just jump straight to our outdoor classroom. See how things are doing here. The pumpkins on our, oh, didn't get it switched around. There we go. The pumpkins on our Hugel, Hugel culture are really taking off. Starting to get a lot of nice blossoms on there. A little bit of insect damage, but overall, not too bad. Haven't gotten too many squash bugs yet anyway. Let's see our ground cherries are looking pretty good. They're really spreading out. They're growing a lot lower and wider than I've seen them do in the past, but that's okay. Oh, look, we've even got a, a couple little ground cherries on there. Give those a little more time to, to get bigger. See our tomatoes here. They're looking pretty good. I have to tie that one up later. It's wanting to lay back. The other side of the tomatoes. So on this side, we've got sun gold tomatoes. On this side, we have a variety I'm trying for the first time called sun peach tomatoes. Very similar. And the idea is they will meet up at the top of this cattle panel. Over here on this one, we've got uh, Mexican sour gherkins, otherwise known as mouse melons. So those are starting to grow pretty well. Our beets and our basil are happy, happy, happy. Gonna have to harvest that basil this week. Probably gonna be making some pesto. Then our loofah gourds. You can see it really taken off too. They shoot off so many vines. I just wish that they would learn that I want them to go up this way. <laughs> but eventually this whole thing will be covered in these loofah gourd vines and we'll have more gourds than we know what to do with. Our pepino melons are slowly but surely growing. They're taking a long time, so we'll see. This is the first year growing those two. And then finally, our peppers are looking super happy. We're getting really nice and bushy. So hopefully before too long, those will sprout right up and we'll be able to get some nice sweet lunchbox peppers out of them. And of course our kale too. Can't have a garden tour without showing off the kale. That's been producing super regularly for months and months and months now. Although it does look like we're getting a little more insect damage on them now, so it might be time for a, another round of spray with the BT to keep those cabbage worms away. Well folks, that's about all we've got today. Like I said, it's summertime. We got lots to do around here. Oh, yes, one other fun update might be to show you the Japanese beetles. Uh, so, if you've ever gardened, you're familiar with them. In these past few years, it's been impossible to kind of escape from them. Uh, but they love this Virginia creeper that we have growing right near our water spigot. And it might be hard to see normally, but if you just shake the fence a little bit and you can see them flying all over the place 
I don't know how easy that is to see from a phone camera, but there's lots of them around. Lots and lots and lots. About the only thing that we can do for them is pick them off by hand in the mornings. But luckily they haven't gotten out to our crops quite yet. They're kind of sticking to this vining creeper. Well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. We will be back tomorrow with another veg out video. We'll see you then.